welcome back. So we are now going to go into resource grind and this is the next step that we need to do. So we need to make some barrels, which means we need lots of wood. We're gonna need some slabs and I suggest making at least two barrels. Um, you're actually going to want to make more than that. Uh, let's, I don't have a whole lot of wood, but that's okay. Uh, let's make a couple more because you're going to want, hmm, let's see. I've spent some time flattening this out a little. Uh, filling in the thing and stopping the water right there. Uh, we could stop it back a little farther. We only need it to go like there, actually, because uh, that'll still hydrate the farm. And then that would give us a little more room. Actually, that might be a good idea. Um, but you're going to want to put barrels out into the world to collect water. Uh, so we're going to just put out two because we also have another water source up there. So that way that'll give us three water sources. Once it rains, these barrels will fill up with water. That gives us two more barrels to collect and make dirt. This is going to be an important thing that we have to do. So we have um, saplings. We need more saplings. You know what we could do just um let's see. I am starting to get hungry. So maybe oh you know what? We need to yeah. The next step is cobblestone. So we have to sift dirt to get these little pebbles and the pebbles make cobblestone and we don't we could make a sieve but that's well we're gonna have to make a sieve uh, all the string that you make from the the infected leaves you're gonna need to make a sieve out of so these are not growing probably because it's dark and I don't have, you know what, there's another torch down here. My cat is snoring behind my ears, which is driving me nuts. Where's it at? There it is. Okay, so now that's definitely dark. It's going to be dark in here, which I kind of don't like. Um, but let's put this torch here so that our food will grow. Maybe. Does it need to be sunny? No, the lettuce grew. We can eat the lettuce. We can't, we can't put those in the barrel to turn into dirt, but we can definitely eat the lettuce. Uh, which is why I wanted to plant it. It's not completely useless. You can eat the lettuce and then use the potatoes and the wheat to uh, compost into dirt. Instead of making baked potatoes and bread with it, uh, you should definitely use it for dirt in the beginning because uh, you do get a lettuce seed. So I think that's the best direction to go with it. Um, but you do need a lot of this stuff. And I'll show you later on how you can get, eat another one. It only gives you a half a drumstick, haunch, meat stick, ham leg, ham bone. I don't know what those, uh, popsicles. Uh, what else could those be? Those little pot party poppers where you pull the string on the end and it explodes and the little silly string comes out. Yeah. 
so I have noticed if you go back and forth, they seem to grow a little faster. And I don't know if that's just me being crazy or what. Yay, I knew you guys were like missing growing crops. Watching crops grow, right? You guys were missing that, right? Because that's the best part of my videos. Okay, so let's make a sieve instead of watching crops grow, I guess. So you need to make this silk mesh, nine string. Got it. You got it? Okay, good. So then you need a couple sticks. Oh, you know what? We need two mil or two of the mesh. It's only one for the automatic sieve. That's why. Uh, there we go. So there is our oak sieve. If you use a different kind of wood, you'll get a different uh, one from that. So then we're going to have to get miniature stones to get cobblestones for the other one. These are kind of going back and forth, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. Let's put that there. Um, let's see. We can also decompose the string. Let's put our potatoes in there. You just right click to add things into it. Um, let's put half of our saplings in there. And now we're at 90%. So let's not that. Let's use the rest uh, with string. Now it's composting and it's going fairly fast. Not like extremely fast, but it's fairly fast. Uh, we're getting light out. Um, let's see. Let's. Oh, that one is not green. Let's block that off. Then we can move those. I want to keep everything green, kind of like grass. Um, I think that would look nice. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Yikes. Um, oops. But I only want it to be one layer. So we are going to, that makes me nervous if I'm not shifting. Especially when I have like everything on me. Okay, one, two, three. So there's that. Um, let's put that there so we can just walk up and we don't have to jump. Um, let's see, we can turn this into that, which then turns these into blocks. So then I can change two more of those into those. Okay, you don't want to plant too much grass because the peaceful mobs that spawn, cows, chickens, sheep, pigs, will try to kill you. So that is not good. So there we go. We got our dirt. Uh, does anything need dirt? No, it's just stone. So we are going to walk this over to the sieve, right click it, and then you need to right click to push it through the sieve. And there we go. We got potato seeds. Nice. And you'll have to turn them into the agricraft potato seeds to be able to plant them and two stone. Sometimes you're lucky and you get at least four. Sometimes you get more than that. Uh, sometimes you only get three. You need four and a two by two to make one piece of cobblestone. So that means we're going to need more dirt. So I'm going to be uh, just for the sake of video, I'm going to take one of my dirt that came with the map and turn it. There we go. So we have four stones and that one is ready to be picked up. So there's riding picker, crossbow of sorrow. You know, I'm not one for bows and arrows and crossbows and stuff like that. So I'm going to take another pick. That's okay. We can do that. So then we need cobblestone. 
So to turn it into cobblestone, we just do it in a two by two and there is our cobblestone. Yay! We get a pig egg and a rainmaker. Now the rainmaker be very, very careful with. It explodes. Yes, explodes. <laughs> I need to make a couple more chests. I have, I'm using the last of my wood to make a couple more chests because this is getting ridiculous. All right, let's put them, I guess we can put it over here. All right, so let's get this stuff out of my inventory. I don't need those. What's in our bag? What kind of bag is it? It's a basic bag. We got a chair! What? Now we can sit and watch our trees grow. I don't even have to stand here and we can watch plants grow. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at me, I'm sitting in my chair. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Great, and it's a spawnable space. Are you kidding me? Mobs can spawn on a chair. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so we need to make a hammer. And in order to make a hammer, we need wood. Oh man. And now I have these so far apart that I can only water one at a time. Where is the twerking when you need it? <laughs> All right, so let's get these nasty leaves out of the way. They need to leave me alone. No, I thought it was funny. All right, I'm also getting hungry. I don't like to let my hunger get too low. Uh, I've only got one sapling. Are you kidding me with that? Uh, okay. So, we need to make a hammer. Let's just turn it all into things. There we go. Need a hammer. So, that's how you make a hammer. Uh, the wood parts, you can turn into stone, diamonds, uh, there's different kinds of hammers that you can make. Hammer. Um, those are war hammers, so not that. A thomium hammer. You can do the flux infused hammers. Man of steel hammers. Those would probably be nice. Uh, wooden hammers. Stone, iron, gold, and diamond. So there's also an automatic hammer which is pretty cool. So now we need to take our cobble that we got, where did it go? And place it down. Oh, pretty cobble. And turn it into gravel. Yay, gravel. So now we need to turn it into sand. Guess what? Put it down, hammer it into sand. And after sand, we need to turn it into dust. These things, gravel, sand, and dust, we can all put through the sieve. Yay, there's our dust. And we're taking the clay, not the rainmaker. It will eventually rain. So I don't like that there's so many rainmakers, but we do need clay badly okay so uh we have clay yay and we're gonna pick the porcelain clay as our reward for that uh we need a bucket where's the thing no 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 one of these needs, hmm, I bet it's after that one. 
that's okay. We'll, we'll get it. Um, we need, we need more stone is what we need. Uh, but we can send all of these through the sieve and uh, get the different ores. So let's put all of those away. Uh, we can get iron ore. If we look at X, um, X Nihilo and X Asterisk are the ones that add the different ores. So from gravel, you'll get the broken ores, the ones that kind of look like stones with the veins of, of metal in them. From sand, you'll get the crushed ores, the ones that look like pebbles. Um, and then from the dust, you'll get the powdered. So all of them that look powdered, that's what you get from the dust. And it gives you different, um, if you look in here, there's different percentages, the drop chance of the different things. So from dust, you'll get redstone, glowstone, blaze powder, sky stone, gun powder, certus coarse dust, and bone meal, as well as the metals. Um, from sand, um, you can also do netherrack and endstone. Uh, sand, for the uses for that, let's look, uh, you'll get cactus seeds, amber, cocoa beans, yellorium dust, that's the only one that doesn't go with the normal, uh, the dust doesn't come from the dust, certus quartz, charged certus quartz, quicksilver, ancient spores, which will turn dirt into mycelium, and exotic seeds, which are jungle saplings. Um, so the cactus seeds, you just have to plant down on, uh, well, actually with the agricraft, you're gonna have to turn those into the agricraft seeds. And then with uh, gravel, Where's it at? Here it is. Let's look at that. Uh, you'll also get appetite, flint, lapis, emeralds, coal, and diamond, as well as the metals. Uh, so that is, you'll need to sift all of them to get all of the different drops. Uh, you can't just sift one and one kind and not another. Uh, let's see. Get some food. I'm so hungry. I can't. Okay, so I am going to check the length of this video because I don't want it to be too long. I'm going to grow some crops, eat, and get some more uh, dirt, and then I will either be back or be back in the next episode. Nah, I'll be back. I'll let you know if I'm coming back. Okay, so I only have a couple more minutes left for this video. Um, I thought I would do one of the other challenges for fishing. So now we need to fish, which will help our hunger situation. Uh, no. There we go. And as soon as that bobber goes down, we can click and hopefully get the right kind of fish. Any day now. I didn't think it would take very long. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. Come on. None of the fish want my bobber. Here it is. Yay! And it's raining. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the aluminum ore berry bush, claim that, and there we go. So now it's raining. Our barrels are gonna fill up with water. Yay! And then we'll have two water sources, plus that one for a third. I'm gonna make an infinite water source right here. Uh, a three by three and 
yeah, I'm going to get some more trees so we can get some more dirt. I'm going to put this orberry bush down below. Hold on. Okay. I thought I heard a zombie, but I don't see him on the on the map. All right, let's plant this down here. Oh, hello, Jade. Why do you have something in your hand? Okay, so that will now grow aluminum. Not that we need aluminum. Well, we kind of do. But they gave us fish, so those are raw, though. Well, we don't have a way to cook it. So, we're going to be eating fish. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please play Agrarian Skies 2 for yourself. It's on the Curse Launcher. I don't think it's going to ever be on the Feed the Beast Launcher. From what I understand, it's not. I could be wrong. So, don't quote me on that. Um, but... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave me any tips that you know of um, that for like AgriCraft or uh, any of the newer mods that weren't in Agrarian Skies 1 and that I may need to know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!